Gilbert Borg is here with S&J Associates, and I'm here at City Hall on a Tuesday night. Um, tonight, I'm here with Shua Lowe. Shua, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Uh, it's been brought to my attention that you are now running for the Stockton, right, the mayor of Stockton. You're running for the mayor. Yes, I'm running for mayor, Stockton mayor. I mean, yeah. outstanding, outstanding. So I got three questions. Three questions. Okay. First question would be. Um, Tonight's meeting, in regards to the uh, increase, rate increase on our trash and, and recyclables, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, my thoughts are, you know, I strongly believe that, you know, we as citizens shouldn't be, um, I'm going to say, uh, shouldn't have to actually be at the end of it, right? So that means, you know, we shouldn't be taxed without some kind of representation, right? You know, there, my job as an environmental health and safety engineer is to actually negotiate hazardous waste contracts with other vendors. So if I see one vendor actually charging me too much, what I do is actually go out and actually put a bid for who's gonna give you the best pricing for the best job. And that's what the city should have done, is actually go out and bid for other trash, you know, hazardous waste haulers, right? right? Because there are a ton of waste haulers out there. You know, there's Sunrise, there's Republic, I know that, you know, Waste Management. Those are the two main ones that are actually here already, but you know what? If they're not doing their job on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, as you know, we notice that we actually see it right now, right? Why are we still keeping them, right? So I don't... So if you look at the price as far as for a 30 gallon, let's say $23, we have over 300,000 people here. On an average, let's say about there's 150,000 on home. That's about $40 million a month. $40 million a month that Republic Waste or Waste Management is actually generating a month. $40 million a month. So if you increase that, that's going to be over, yeah, close to $118 million. Right? So I, I just really have a concern. Why is it that we have to suffer for some of the things that should be done? You know, the city so far right now, if you drive, you're, if you're like me, you know, we drive around the city, we see trash everywhere. You know, I, I, I see that as a concern. You know, if Republic Waste Management is doing their job, they should be out there every day picking up these trash. They, that, that's what we're paying them for. Right? Do you guys agree with me? Yeah. So, you know, right. So I don't believe in the, uh, the, the rate increase. Okay. I fully believe that you know we should not pay for a rate increase, especially when they're not doing their job. Um, you know, they used to do an annual spring cleanup. They don't do that anymore, hmm. right? Right. So why why are we paying for some of these some of these fees that we, we're not really getting okay. any benefits from it? Well said. Well said. Second question: uh -huh. If you were the mayor of Stockton, what changes would you bring to the table? Ah, for changes, uh, if I was to become mayor, my first priority and probably the top priority is actually economic development for Stockton. I really want to re kind of build the port and turn it into a central business hub because you know what? I really want to you know bring a lot of business to town. That means you know uh, restaurants, hotels, um, any kind of you know nightlife activity, right? Or any any kind of any other kind of a activity that actually will attract other people to come to Stockton. Because as you know it, the port is a really beautiful piece of the Stockton. We're probably the only city in probably in the world that actually has an inland port, right? Where else can you find an inland port, right? So we already have an advantage there. We're centrally located between the Yosemites, Lake Tahoe, San Francisco, Sacramento, Bakersfield, LA, right? So we are pretty much everywhere. Everybody wants to be here, but the thing is, we're not making Stockton into something that it should be. So that's one thing. Second is I want to, you know, um, talk about public safety, right? I believe that public safety is, number, you know, a second priority because as you bring in business, you want to make sure everybody's going to be safe in town. So public safety, so that means I'm going to allocate more money to police departments so that way they can actually get more police officers on the street. Mm. That's probably the most important thing because as you do it right now, you know, we are really understaffed as far as police officers. For them to do their job efficiently, we need more. Um, so that means getting more police officers on the ground so that way they can actually do more patrols to make sure that, you know, crimes are not being 
you know, right. committed. That brings me to my third question. Yes. Mm -hmm. You talked about the homeless situation, and it's on everyone's mind right yes. now. Um, how exactly are you going to address the homeless issue? Is there, do you have a plan of attack in dealing with the homeless situation? Do you have a plan? I have a plan, yes. So my plan of attack is, you know, I'm going to work with this, uh, the county board of supervisors. Okay. Um, and part of the city is, you know, once I become mayor, I really want to buy a land from the county because I'm pretty sure that, you know, we already maxed out on areas for the city already where we could actually build some kind of encampment or some kind of camp okay. for the homelessness, right? So I want to work with the, the county, buy a land, okay. and then actually designate that land, you know, maybe not just, not one piece of land, but actually multiple lands, right? Okay. Because we have different kind of a homelessness that we, there's the people that actually lost their home because of due to, you know, losing a job or other economic right, sanctions. Economic, economic stations, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, you know, the drug user, transients, right? So those are all the ways, and then the vets, right? So that way we can actually separate them and keep them separated because, you know, and then in that process, uh, give them counseling or other venues to actually go about, right? So for example, the, the individuals that, you know, lost their jobs due to some kind of economic right. situation, right? So that means provide them with some kind of job training. So that way they can actually get back on their feet. Right. Yeah, so we need that here. That's and that's how, you know, we can actually not solve the problem, but actually improve the homeless conditions. Okay. Because, you know, obviously we can't really solve something that's been kind of brewing for 50 plus years. Yeah. So. Okay. Well said. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Well, thank really. you. Thanks thank for you having me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is Stephen Bohorkas with SJ Associates saying thanks for watching.